welcome welcome back to mama joan house where it's at and when i said at i mean scotch bonnet pepper at guys guys today i'm gonna do a little escobage kingfish for you guys okay so guys i'm gonna dive into the ingredients so here we go just a couple slices of kingfish not too much and i have some two onion cut up here one carrot and one ball pepper what did he say oh. so it's alpha red and alpha yellow ball pepper what do you mean by that so i'm gonna fry up the fish and get right into this video guys so as you can see the oil is nicely hot and i'm gonna drop four pega garlic inside of it guys when you're frying fish it's nice to fry some garlic in the oil because you know what it take away the scent of that fish in your house if you feel what i'm saying you know so i can smell the garlic and it also had some flavor to the fish all right so now let's drop the fish in the pot the hot oil okay. I'm well up. Okay. Five pieces. That all not the little pot there, you know. So I put five pieces in there, and let's fry up them five pieces, and we'll see how them five pieces. Okay. So as you can see, I done fry the fish. So now I'm gonna. Cook up the and I cook up the escobage seasoning to put on the fish. Okay, it's carrot, onion, open up the onion, loosen them up, get them all open. So guys, I'm gonna use some vinegar from my hot pepper sauce. This is a homemade hot pepper sauce that I made. So I'm gonna get some vinegar from here. This is very hot, very spicy vinegar from here. And I'm gonna get a couple pieces of pepper. Pieces of pepper, okay. I'm gonna put this on the stove. Okay, so I'm gonna get some oil Ooh, from the fish. Pour it over that. Okay, I'm going to cook up. I'm gonna get some. Okay, so I'm gonna get like a teaspoon of the fish seasoning. The Maggi fish seasoning that I'm using and then I'm gonna get some of my garlic plus all so I'm gonna sprinkle about a tablespoon about a teaspoon of it in there give this a, a whistle a stir yeah uh, I'll stir this up that go on cook a little bit then I get my Ball pepper. What did he say? I'm put inside of the pot. Okay. So let's cook this up a little bit. I put the ball pepper in my last. I'm gonna transport. I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna pour this over that. Pour all. Mm -mm. Guys, mm. the season here. Mmm. If you could only just smell the aroma from this season here. Look on it. Look on it. Oh my gosh. It smells so nice. Turn down your stove a little bit. Okay. Okay. So what I did, I add a little 
water, like a half a cup of water, some oyster sauce, and some Thai plum sauce. And this is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna throw it over the fish. So now guys, as you can see, everything coming to a swimmer, a simmer. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice over it. Okay. And if you want, you can add a piece of butter. I like so I put it. Don't have to put the butter in there, but I like to put some butter in it. You know. So this is like one tablespoon of butter. Like one tablespoon of butter. Okay. This comes to a simmer now. And then it's ready. Very easy to do. You know, not much time. Not taking no more than a preparation time. If you buy the fish and you get it clean up and everything, you wash it off in a, in a vinegar water. And preparation time is about 15 minutes. Cut up your season and another. 15-20 minutes for fry the fish and that's it you know. okay. so I come to the end of my escobage fish look how beautiful it is smell delicious smell the scent is the seasoning you know it's to die for so it really this one make you want to slap your papa Okay, now your mama, you know, it make you want to slap your papa. So guys, for this video, I'd like you to like it, subscribe it, and hit that post notification bell thing of mine. And please, try and make this simple escobage fish. Everybody make escobage fish and make it different. This is, all, this is a very simple one. Okay, so I want you guys to try it. So now, my taste tester mr d'angelo is gonna take a taste so i'm gonna make a little plate for him okay guys Alrighty, guys i am here you guys already know now guys you already feel me now guys when i would when i would eat this when i was a kid guys all right my favorite thing to eat with this would be some bread all right mm -hmm. or some rice okay mm -hmm. that's how i would eat it and i would be esco vying the fish Let's go be chin the fish. Mm, mm. <laughs> guys, guys, it's the crunch on the veggies. Mmm. My little has a little bit of a sweet. kick to it. With a sweet. sweet. Uh-huh. Mmm. For all you, for all my Jamaicans out there, okay? We don't call it onion. We call it onion with a H. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm. Guys, I'm not lying to you guys. When my mom cooks for you guys, it just tastes so good. Make you want to slap your butt back. Mmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. But guys, mm, they say don't talk with your mouth full. But mm, mm. Mm. guys, try this recipe guys, make sure you guys do. Mm. And guys, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, make sure you guys turn on that post notification because in Mama Jones house, I'm telling you guys, I grew up off these meals. I got fat off these meals. I didn't have to wash the dishes because I wanted to eat more of these meals. Okay? Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn that post notification. I'm gonna finish this escabiche fish. And uh, see you guys at the next one.